In this video, we will be finding the volume of a prism. Our problem is to find the volume of the prism with the base shown below, that's right here, and a height of 10 centimeters. On the right is a sketch of the prism, and the height is shown 10 centimeters. The formula that we'll be using is the formula for volume of a prism, which is equal to area of the base times the height. Press pause to copy down the problem and the formula. When you're ready to continue, press play. So in order to find the volume of our prism, we have to find the area of the base and multiply it by the height. So our formula, volume of a prism, is equal to area of the base times the height. Now our base is a composite of two different figures, so we're going to need to find the area of each of those pieces. Um, we see that we have a rectangle that measures 6 centimeters by 4 centimeters. The area of a rectangle is length times width, so we'll multiply 6 times 4 for the area of that rectangle, and then add to that rectangle the area of this semicircle. Now, semicircle is half of the circle. Uh, we don't have a radius given here, but we can see that the diameter, which is the same as this length of our rectangle, if our diameter is 6, then our radius is half of that. So our radius is 3 centimeters. The area of a circle is pi r squared, so we want half of that for our semicircle. So 1 half times pi times our radius squared, which is 3 squared. And then we're going to multiply that by the height of our prism, which is 10. Now let's review. The area of my base is the area of the rectangle plus the area of the semicircle. So we have length times width here plus half of pi r squared. And then I multiply that whole area of the base by 10. Now when we do our math here, we're going to have a rational term and we're going to have an irrational term. We won't be able to put those together. So let me write those separately. 6 times 4 is 24, plus, and then uh, 3 squared is 9, times a half is 9 halves, times pi. So this is my rational term, and this is my irrational term, and you can't add those um, together. And then that's multiplied by the height, which is 10. But I can distribute my 10 through this binomial. Uh, 24 times 10 is 240. And then 9 halves pi times 10 is 45 pi. My units were centimeters. So since this is volume, my unit is cubic centimeters. This is my answer. Let me get a calculator and uh, we can find the approximation for this. Now I have 240 plus 45 times pi. 
is approximately 381.4.